pure tongue. And once it pierces or passes through the diaphragm, it is now called the abdominal aorta. Branches. Branches nito, tsaka branches nito. In, uh, in veins, ano naman, branches of the, or tributaries of the pre-cava and the post-cava. So, apat na yun. What is the fifth uh, blood vessel system? Name yung branches of the hepatic portal vein. So, what makes the hepatic portal vein unique from the systemic vein is because anyone how is the portal vein different from the systemic vein? If the systemic vein always goes to the heart, the portal vein does not go to the heart. It will instead go to a different organ. Okay? Kaya siya parang portal. Okay? Kasi supposedly, di ba by definition, ang veins is always from the body to the heart. But that is not the case for portal veins. Right? It's an organ to another organ. In frogs there are, and in other animals, there are many portal veins. But in the cat, only one portal vein remains. And that is the hepatic portal vein. Kaya nga, yung hepatic portal vein in cats, it can also be called as portal vein because it's the only portal system in cats. In frogs, meron tayong pinatawag na renal portal system or the renal portal vein na kung saan, from the legs, pupunta mo na siya sa kidney. Okay? Pero, again, in cats, yun lang. Uh, from the intestines, papunta ng liver. The hepatic portal vein is very important because the food that will be absorbed in the intestine will go first to the liver to be processed before going to the heart. Okay? So, ang focus natin will be two out of the five Systems, which is the branches of the thoracic aorta and the branches of the abdominal aorta. So first, let's focus on the branches of the thoracic aorta. So, ang tawag dito is the arc of the aorta. Right? By the way, and ito yung pulmonary vein, ay pulmonary artery, diba? Tapos, meron ditong ligament of botalus. Okay? Ligament of botalus. So, the ligament of botalus represents the remnant of the previous connection between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. So, dati may, may connection siya doon, may nagpapas na blood doon. Pero wala na siya, so remnant na lang, known as the ligament of botalus. Okay? So, there are three branches. Okay? The arc of the aorta has three branches. One, Two and three. Then, pagdating dito, magkakaroon ka ng maliliit na branches. Okay? So, yung maliliit na branches dyan ay yung intercostal arteries. Okay? So, from the name itself, ay yung magsusupply ng blood to the ribs. Aside from the intercostal arteries, meron din dyang esophageal arteries. Pumunta sa esophagus. Okay? Ngayon, dito na tayo sa tatlong to. So, may mga pangalan to. Okay? So, ang tawag dito, this, the first branch is the brachiocephalic artery. Okay? Again, for the depth exam, ang gagawin natin dito is I'll uh, put a thread, for example, a red thread around this blood vessel, identify red. Okay? Identify blue. Kung kunyari, blue thread yung nakatali doon. So, ang pinaka-objective nyo dito is, doon sa mga cats nyo, you should be able to label the different blood vessels. And para ma maintindihan nyo siya, kailangan alam nyo yung network of, or the connections between blood vessels. So, ang branches ng thoracic aorta or dorsal aorta. Okay, this is the dorsal Okay. 
This one is the brachiocephalic. However, in most cases, okay, sa tingin ko, ito yung pinaka may encounter nyo. Dalawa. Dalawa lang yung branches. May ibang cases tatlo, may ibang cases dalawa. Okay, so pakitignan nyo lang sa inyong kat. Ito yung pinaka-common. This is the brachiocephalic. Okay. Brachio. Right? Then this one is the left, okay, left subclavian artery. From the name itself, may gigets nyo na kung ano yung kanyang pupuntahan. Diba? Brachio, hand, cephalic is head. So, punta yan sa, nagsusupply yan sa hand and head. Pag subclavian is yung arm. Okay? Ito rin. Back your arm. That's it. Arm and head. Ito. Arm. Okay? So, itong brachycephalic nito, na to, magdi-divide siya further into the right subclavian. And we have the right and left common carotid arteries. So, yung common carotid artery, ito yung naputol. Diba? Ito yung pinutol ni Manong para lumabas yung blood dito sa side na to. So, therefore, yung pinutol niya is the left common carotid. Okay. Supposedly, pag tin-raise nyo further yung right and left common carotid artery, magbabranch pa yan into the um, right, right and left internal carotid and external carotid artery. Pero hindi natin itetrace further. Okay? So, hanggang dun lang tayo for our coverage. Okay? Uh, pag nakita nyo na yung common carotid, okay na yun. For that part. Okay? Ngayon, itrace naman natin itong subclavian artery. Okay? May nagpa-follow ba sa Ayman? Ano sinasabi ko? Ikaw? Kasi walang nagpa-follow sa Ayman. Okay. Makipollow sa Ayman para pwede tayo mag-clarify. Okay. So, i-trace na ngayon natin to. By the way, itong right and left subclave na to, pwede na kayo i-trace na natin isa kasi supposedly They have the same branches. Okay? Kaya right or left lang, tignan natin. Okay? So, the, right, the subclavian artery has four branches. Okay? Then, pagdating dito sa first rib, okay? Naalala nyo yung ribs. Pag nag-pastor na siya sa, li sa ribs, ang tawag na sa kanya ay brachial artery. Okay? So, continuous yun ha. Ang marker mo lang is the left subclavian artery. Once na nag-pass through na siya sa first rib, ang pangaral niya yan ay break yan. Okay. Then, the brachial artery will have a total of three branches. Okay. Three branches. Then, pag nagkaroon na nung huling branch niya, okay. one, two, Okay. Ang tawag na sa kanya ngayon ay Sorry like, This is axillary Ito yung brachial Once na nag-pass through na yung Tatlo Verification May tuloy-tuloy yan. So, sub sub left subclavian, tapos magiging left axillary artery, tapos brachial artery. 
Itong brachial artery, magkakaroon pa yun ng mga branches na magsusupply sa different parts of the arm or hand. Pero hindi na natin ititrace. So, ang limit natin will be the brachial artery. Once na nakita niyo yung brachial artery, okay na yun. Kaya hindi niya na kailangan itrace further. So, ano kaya itong apat na branches dito? One, two, three, four. Tapos tatlong branches ng axillary. Okay, kailangan natin i-locate yun. Dito muna tayo sa axillary. Ang axillary artery, meron niyang tatlong branches. We have the internal thoracic. We have the long thoracic and the subscapular artery. So once na nakita niyo yung subscapular artery, that marks na ito na ay brachial artery. Okay? Once na nakita niyo yung subscapular, that's a marker. Once na nakita niyo yung subscapular artery, brachial artery niyo. Thoracic, long thoracic, and so it's coming down. The subscapular artery supposedly meron niyang isang branch known as the thoracodorsal artery. So ito, itong apat na to, branches of the subclavian, ito ko na lang sasulat. Okay. We have the internal mammary or internal internal mammary. We have the Plus the cervical. Diba? Ngayon apat na branches of the subclavian. Sir, for, for, so from here to here yan. Sir, from top to Ang bottom. Ang pinakauna ay... Sir, from the, ano yan, from, from the aorta, no? Pinakauna from the aorta is internal mammary. Ito. Tapos subclavian. Anong pinaka-anterior? Hindi, ano to? Yung sa lip, after ng veins yung discussion ng artery na ito. Hindi ba? Oo. Yan. Sa Xavier Artery. Vertebral. Uh, itama, internal thoracic or internal mammary, vertebral, costocervical and pang-apat to and thyrocervical 